Hello ladies and gentlemen, as Bunny says. Uh, welcome back to another edition of Minecraft. I hope you're having a nice uh, day or evening or night or good time. Um, from last episode, one of the things I did was I took my boat and ran back to the base and got some extra supplies. I just put them in here. I just threw some stuff in there. I got some... I One of the things I did was grab some jungle wood. Got some glowstone, some leather. Just uh, some extra things I thought I'm going to bring back. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do was put down a jungle tree, so let's stick that somewhere. Okay, I don't want to block my doors. I mean... I'll stick it. I'll stick it right here. That's a good spot. No, oh, I threw down a few torches. That's all. It was nighttime. I just threw down some torches. That's it. And I brought back some, a couple of these plants, these flowers. I mean, and uh, I threw them down. It's because I was thinking I one of the uh, dyes I got was magenta, and I was like, yeah, that's right. I wanted to check out. Uh, uh, magenta dye. Let's see what that looks like. Let's take a look. Uh, hmm. Okay, hold on. Let me do that again. Looks sort of purplish pinkish. Oh, wow. Hmm, I, I like the pink there, but no, I like the pink. The pink is mixing pretty well, I'm surprised. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, I brought some pink glass with me, I noticed I had some left over. Put this back, and uh, oh yeah, I had some fruits and vegetables. I brought back some uh, potatoes and uh, carrots. So when I start growing those, let me throw those down here. Okay, yeah, I got beets. Okay, all right, I have everything. Okay, so um, I think I'm ready to go. Yeah, I have everything. Okay. And it's time to hit another. Let's hop in the boat and uh, you know, watch me. Uh, the funny thing was, was I traveled back when I was traveling. Uh, uh, when I was when I was traveling the last time back to base, I got so lost. Uh, <laughs> I had to actually jump out of the jump out of my boat, off it, like pick it up, drag it over to overland and uh, throw it back in the water. <laughs> I was like, I was in the other ocean. I was actually, like I was, uh, I come across and I gotta make sure I wasn't here. I was down here. And I was like, there's a town there. I said, like, what, what's that town there? I don't even know that town. <laughs> and I was like, oh crap. <laughs> so I rode up to here and I was like, forget it. I just grabbed my boat and ran across. I rode into here, grabbed my boat, and ran across the water, uh, the dirt there, and ground. That, oh, that reminds me, when I'm playing the 113 update, whenever I'm playing that, boy, do I, oh, man. That, that makes me realize how really bad I need a map program for that. I just get so lost. I was, um, I had my bay, I had my little bit of base there when I first started, and at one point, I don't know, I, I, I was like, I don't know, three or four hundred, and maybe, maybe like four hundred squares away from, you know, four hundred meters or four hundred number of squares away or whatever from my base. And I was doing something for a minute, and I turned around and and this is before I, I mean, I didn't even clear the area around 
totally around my base, so I can't tell where I am and stuff. And uh, I'll look at the temple. You can see it in the water. Oh, wow, you can see the giant creature out there. Huh? Take a look at that. See it? Wait a minute. Let me, let me get over here. See it in the water? Uh, I'm going to jump in the water. Check it out. See the giant creature there? See his tail? Look at that. See that? Ah, uh, stupid. Ah, man. Look at a giant creature. I don't know if that's... Oh, God, what was that? Okay. Oh, the mining... Oh, God, I shouldn't have did that. The mining thing. Oh, it's, is it in the water now? I don't know. Okay, it's not. Uh, yeah, mining sickness. You, you mine slower for like three minutes. But, uh, oh well. By the time I get it to the nether, it should be gone. But, um, yeah, I got about two or three. I mean, I was, I, was, I mean, uh, I was like three or four hundred squares away and I got so lost that I, I literally I was like I had no idea where I was going I started running and you could even press F3 and see you know what direction you're facing and I literally just everything suddenly looked the same I was in the birch forest and I couldn't tell I just had no idea where my base was and I mean normally you're towards zero zero but I was so close to zero zero that I couldn't, you know, I couldn't. I'm like at zero negative two hundred. That's where my base is. And at that point, I hadn't started anything up, you know, I hadn't been doing anything yet, so I couldn't remember. I was trying to run towards zero zero, the coordinates zero zero, and I just I couldn't find anything, so I started. um I just turned around and started like trying to run in one direction, trying to figure out where it was and stuff. And so, where am I now? Okay. And I, I just couldn't tell where I was. So I got so lost that I had to actually leave the game. But I felt so lost that I had to actually leave the game and turn around. And um, I, found, I found a program called Map Atlas. Well, I knew of it before. I've used it once in a while. Where or I was using it before I, uh, I would look at it before I ever had the Voxel Map program. And um, it it just shows you it shows you where you are and it shows you all the biomes around you. You point it towards your save game, and uh, it'll just show you all the biomes around you. It's really, it's very simplified. It's extremely simplified. It's right in the uh, browser. You just point it towards your save game, and it'll just show you, you know, the the biomes around you, and where you are, and that's it. You know, so and it will show you your spawn point. And now it's like I was trying to figure out. I, I couldn't figure out where I was so bad that I had to actually use that to look and see where I was. Tell, you know, to tell what was going on. I was like, oh my god, I, I couldn't believe it. And I was only, you know, four or five hundred squares away from, uh, you know, from everything, you know. I was like, oh god, what the hell? From where I started, and boy, <laughs> I just couldn't believe I got that lost. And it could show you, I mean, you could get that lost that easy. And, uh, yeah, that shocked me. I'm gonna keep the silk touch axe with me because I'm gonna try to see if I grab some glowstone. So, yeah, okay. Do I, I gotta put some more arrows here. Okay. Well, it's making weird noises. I could hear it a little bit, like humming. It's talking to me. <laughs> okay. But, uh, yeah, I was at, well, I'm, I'm, I'm just delaying because I'm waiting for this mining fatigue to go off. But, uh, man, boy, was I shocked. I, and I was, I, I was, um, 
I knew what my mice was because I had looked at it previously. And so I was like, I was way east of my, I wasn't way east, but I was east of my base. And my base, and where I was, my base was, I thought it was northwest, but it was actually east of me. I was just stunned. Okay, here we go. Oh, I did a house like that sort of before, huh? Okay. Whatever. Anyway, alright, let's go. Ready? It should be out. Yeah, okay, it's off me. Here we go. Going into the nether. Whoa, what the hell is that? What's going on? Oh, well, that was a sword. Well, oh, listen, buddy, you can't stand there in the middle of the gate like that, alright? That's creepy. You can't do that. <laughs> That's bad. That's very bad. Don't don't stand there. That's bad, okay? Alright, let's see where I am. Alright, let's grab some... Let's do it. Oh, okay. Shh, it's okay. I'm just gonna get some rock. Let's... Where should I grab some rock from? Okay, well, I guess here I can... Yeah, oh, I didn't like that because it was hitting the bottom. Okay. Let's just move along here. And... Alright, let's... Let's go here. You know what? No, let's, yeah, let's not go there. Let's not go near there at all. Not at all. Not even close to there. Okay, let's look down here. I can go here and go over there. Way over there. Okay, in the corner where those guys are, I guess. Go down here. Yeah, I'll go down there. Okay. How do I get down there? Okay. You know what? Maybe not. Let's... Okay, maybe so. Okay, I can go here, I guess. Hmm. Have some of this brick here. Yeah, okay, let's do this. Make it like a stairway here. So sort of a natural stairway, I guess. But yeah, I was so mad. Wow. It was... At that time, well, I know you what I knew it before, but what, what? I was uh, no, oh, so they're making weird cat sounds. But um, I knew it before. I mean, I knew how bad I needed that map before. You know what? I better turn down the sound a little bit. There we go. Because they're gonna be making those weird cat sounds and. If that thing attacks me, it's going to make a lot of noise. But uh, I knew how bad I needed to map it before, but... It's always sort of a shock to me how lost I get. It makes you think of real life, like how you could... How... You know, it... it it's incredibly easy to turn around and... In real life, imagine if you're in a forest or something like that in real life. Man. Then that's in the game, and I could, and I could press F3 and tell which direction I'm facing, and I got coordinates and everything, and I'm still lost. And you know what I mean? Like, if you're in real life, if that's real life, and you're trying to figure out, if you go into a forest, then wow. And I'm very bad with directions and stuff anyway, so it just makes it even worse, you know. It just makes me realize, just, and you wonder why, even, they, you know, they're talking about places where you can experience people going to when they get lost and stuff, and forests, different forests, and, and you'll be just go, totally going in the wrong direction, you know? I didn't even realize. I mean, I, I was stunned when my base was in the, you know, was in the, like, my base from where I was, my base was at the 11 o'clock position. 
And I had thought I was at the 3 o'clock position. I was that long. Yeah, I was just so shocked at that. And I was thinking of like, uh, oh my god, I don't have a thing to, uh, oh crap. I forgot a, a crafting table. Oh wow, what the hell? You know what? Do I have any, you know what? Oh, okay, real quick, let me back and grab some wood. For the crafting table. Oh, stop making those creepy sounds. You monsters, those you. Okay. Do I have any wood? Mm, yes, I do. Perfect. Actually, you know what? Yeah, okay. There we go. I could just make a few here, so it doesn't really matter. I knew it. See, I knew it ahead of time. I'm always throwing down those extra precaution stuff. Because I know, I know me, you know, I know the way I am. That's why I put the crafting tables and stuff like that here, because, uh, I'll take it with me, I'll throw it back in here when I'm done with it. Because I'm such an idiot, I know, okay, no, I, no, no, I'll, I'll take it with me. Okay. But, um, might need to stick another bow there, too. Yeah, I was thinking, like, wow, that easy to get lost in. Even if you, like, imagine those forests where, like, there's weird forests that have, like, where the compasses don't work and stuff like that. Wow, I mean, boy, if you get lost, you're, you're screwed in those places. You, you could be, I mean, or at least me anyway. I'll be literally walking in the opposite direction thinking I'm getting back towards the general direction where I came from. You know? Wow, what the heck? What the hell happened here? One of those things shot that thing out and exploded this. I could tell. Okay, whatever. Oh, there's some glowstone right there, perfect. Let me grab that real quick. I start to grab that first. Since it's nice and easy to get to. And I have the silk axe so I could just get them whole. And I brought some with me, but I figured I brought some and put it on my base there, my second base, but for a stack, but I thought whatever, since I'm going in here, I might as well grab some more. I was thinking of that, uh, that suicide forest, you know, that one where compasses and stuff don't work and uh, cell phones and stuff. Or any of those type of forests, you know. That's plenty. All right? Yeah, 44, that's plenty. Okay, let's start digging right here. Um, I hate it when these guys walk right in front of me because if you happen to hit them once with a pickaxe, they'll think you're attacking them, then that's, you know, that's a bad situation. I remember one time I got lost in the nether and I couldn't remember where my where, where my gateway was. Oh, that's one of those big floating things. Damn it. Really? Okay. And that was it. I was I was like permanently lost in the nether. I couldn't I had no idea how to get out. That's when I ended up looking at that stupid map at last thing. Because I just literally I couldn't find my thing and you can't, uh, I don't think you can, if you restart, you start, restart back in another. 
So you're like permanently there. Which is freaking terrible. I think I, and you know what, I think I, end, no, you know what, I think I ended up dying. And just, and I lost all the stuff I had, you know, I was just like, oh well. What's going on, where's this light coming from? Oh, okay. Lava, okay. Lava everywhere. Oh, I haven't been in, in the nether in the 113. That might be interesting. You know something um, that I did know in the, one th was in the 113 was if I make a, a map in the... If I use the... Um, the random... You know, the thing... I could make a... Uh, like a, You could take a 112 map and move it forward and places that you've already looked at uh, places aren't that that aren't being generated like if you've been in a dungeon before or something and it's already been generated um, we'll stay that way we'll carry over to the 113 it's only places that are newly uh, generated that uh, that generate according to the one according to the vanilla rules you know so conceivably, I could carry this map over into 113, and everything will like any of the places I've already looked at dungeons and stuff will still anything that's already been generated will stay that way. So if there's diamond and stuff, it'll stay there. But uh, I'm still not ready to. I, I want the resource pack to change because I, I, I be honest, it's just so ugly looking. <laughs> Vanilla Minecraft, I think it's just sort of ugly. After you've been playing it and looking like this for a while, you know, man, I just... You get used to it, but... After you've been playing and seeing all the clean textures of something like this, you get it, you know, it's just... I'd rather just keep playing this way for a while until it just, you know, whatever, it takes six months, fine. That's when I'll switch over. But I do hope they change that uh, thing. I was really disappointed that they did that. That you couldn't make your own worlds like that. That's, that was really disappointing. But I guess I could always make a world with tons of stuff in it and then like tons of diamond and gold or whatever everywhere. Run around for a little while until um, I see a bunch of generated stuff. I make sure there's a bunch of du uh, dungeons. I just run into dungeons, look at them, so that they're generated. Then switch over to 113. You know, like that. But once the resource pack changes, I mean, once they update the resource pack, if they do, hopefully, I, I hope they do. Because they've been keeping up with the, they've been doing it for this, you know, this, uh, they did it for the 112, I mean, so. And it doesn't have, they don't have, I don't care if it takes a little while, but I just really hope that they do, period, you know, at all. Because at some point I would like to switch over to 113, and just. I mean, uh, once I, you know, what I can do is, uh, once I switch, if they don't change the thing, I could just, what I'll do, I'll just go on a, a huge hunt and just get you know, like a thousand pieces of diamond or something and then store it all. Be like, you know what, that's, for the foreseeable future, I won't need any more, more than that. And I could always, if I ever need more than that, I could always get it on my own or take it some time and just start digging on my own. One of the hardest problems is when you're first starting out. Um, and it's hard to actually get the diamond, you know? 
you're having such a really difficult time. What do you do? I mean, I found that, you know, this is what I've always done before is I have to make iron armor, iron stuff, iron everything. And just um, sit there and uh, uh, put, put the enchantments and any kind of enchantments I want. I have to put it on, or start with some enchantments on iron stuff. Just, in, you know, the main, the main thing is the fortune enchantment. That's the one thing you want real bad on a pickaxe, you know. So you sit there and set, set up a, you have to get enough gold, to, uh, diamond to get a diamond pickaxe, because you need that to get obsidian to make an enchanting table, right? So you make the enchant, once you get the enchanting table, so you have to get at least three pieces of diamond. So you run around with some iron stuff until you get at least three pieces of diamond. All right. Uh, remember, you can't. Uh, you haven't made the enchanting table yet, so you don't. Nothing's enchanted. So you just have to hope you find some three pieces of diamond somewhere in a dungeon or wherever, or just through shaft mining. And if you don't know what shaft mining is, it's just uh, dig down until you hit level twelve. Like straight down until you hit level 12 and then just go in a straight line to start digging in a straight line until you come across some diamond and just make some offshoot alleys off it. You know, that'll uh, just keep you making like, you know, sections off it. That's it until you hit some diamond, you know. And uh, usually I dig from between, I'll dig like four squares up. It'll be on, I'll be on level 12, I'll dig four squares up, so it'll all be digging up to level 16. So I'm digging between 12 and 16. Remember, uh, in a vanilla game, um, diamond appears at only level 16 and less, and lower. So, you know, uh, you're sitting there digging, and then, you know, once you get that, a couple, once you get a pickaxe, a diamond pickaxe, or, I mean, once you get enough diamond, you need, well, yeah, you need the three pieces of diamond for the obsidian, because you need a diamond pickaxe, pickaxe for the obsidian. Then, um, you'll need two pieces of diamond for the enchanting table, so you need five pieces of diamond total, at a very minimal. And, I'm telling you, it's, it can be extremely hard to get that. I dug and I dug for something like eight hours. I, I should show you this one place. It's huge. I mean, I dug this huge shafting area right beneath where my bed is. Uh, right next to my bed, like it's literally right at my spawning point. And there was there was nothing. It's literally the entire place has nothing. And I was like, damn, really? I dug there for I don't know eight hours and got four pieces of diamond total. I was like, why? I, I didn't understand it. I didn't know why. Normally you hit something. But I got four pieces, and that was in one spot. I got the four pieces out of one spot. I hit four pieces of diamond thing, and that was it. I never hit another one. And I was like, my god, there's nothing here. I have to move somewhere. Somewhere around. So I found a mountain far off, about a thousand meters away, that I I was hoping I wouldn't get, you know, I kept in one direction, so I was like, alright, good, I won't get lost. And I dug down there, and started digging there, and I found a bunch of, uh, that's where I found a bunch of diamond. And I found another uh, dungeon area where I dug down to, where I was digging there and finding diamond. And so, if, so and the thing, what the main thing was, was I just wanted to put get the fortune enchantment on the pickaxe, so if you get fortune, you know, remember if you get fortune 2 or 3 or whatever, you get, you know, multiple pieces of, you know, if you have one diamond, you have a good chance of getting two pieces out of it, and sometimes three. So those four pieces of diamond could have been like ten, you know, or, well, probably more like seven. And it could have potentially been ten, but usually you'll get something like 
six or seven out of it. So that's what you want. You don't want to touch any diamond until you get a fortune thing. That will, you know, allow you to, uh, you know, make multiples. So that's the only reason I have a hundred, uh, like a hundred pieces of diamond now. Because man, I've been digging huge mines and only finding a small bit of diamond. So that's that I mean so what uh, in the first enchantment thing I didn't um, after I I was trying to make a, I, could, I could get fortune on an iron axe uh, a iron pick axe at first could that come up easy but it wouldn't come up for the diamond one and I was like I couldn't it, the you know like whenever I try to put the axe in on the enchantment table there, it wouldn't come up. I was having a really hard time trying to get to it. So at first I was just using the iron pickaxe with the fortune on it. And I was using, I was just switched to that. You know, and then, so that's, I mean, at first, and then I was like, all right, I started getting some enchantments, but they were coming up far easy, and I couldn't get enough diamond to make any kind of armor or anything. Forget that. Very, uh, I think the only thing I had for a long time was just a diamond pickaxe and a diamond sword. And that was it. Uh, everything else was iron, you know? <clears throat> so I was doing that for a long time. Until I finally started, until I finally got on. And you have to... Remember to use the enchantment table, you have to be level, you have to have a bunch of levels, you know. Uh, so you have to keep on, and one of the easiest ways I find to level my guy up is to feed animals and to breed animals. Because you'll go up real fast with the, you know, you've seen it in this other episodes where that's one of my main methods of leveling up is you can fight monsters and go up real fast at their very lower levels. But to get the higher levels, you need a lot more experience. And, uh, you know, to go from, like, level 26 to 28, you have to, like, kill monsters all night. Or not all night, but, you know, feels like it. So, um, and when I was only had the iron armor and stuff with barely any enchantments or anything, I didn't feel comfortable fighting anything, you know? Or, you know, the, the skeletons kill you like crazy, man. They're so hard now. I remember they used to be so... They used to be just an annoyance. Now they're, like, so difficult to fight. So, uh, you know... So it was sort of... I was like, man, I don't want to fight these monsters at night time. They kept getting killed. And I would get killed, I would lose all my levels. You know, you lose all your levels, and so and you die, so it defeated the purpose, you know. If I'm trying to go from level 25 to level 26, suddenly I die and I go back down, down to level 0, you know, or 1 or whatever. But you die the first time, and suddenly you're back down to, I think, level 7. Then if you die again, you're down to 0, you know. So, what the heck is going on here? I don't... Okay. Get rid of this one. Okay, this might be it. But, uh, what I'll do, you know what? I'll, I'll stick this in my chest on the outside. And then I'll come back and take some more real quick. But, uh, yeah, it was, you know, so it sort of it makes it more and more difficult. It sort of quintuples the difficulty at first till you get some stuff going you know then uh, wow you know I really need to fill in that hole but uh, you know but it took a while but once I, the main thing is that fortune axe and then Pickaxe. 
so you could, you know, hit diamond and uh, you can get multiples of diamond. Because, man, that game is stingy with diamond real bad. Oh, I don't even have enough cobblestone to make more pickaxes. Really? Okay. Uh, Alright, well, I can get cobblestone anywhere. Right here. Let's go down and get some here. Oh, wow. God damn, why is it so dark? Oh, man, because I don't have any of my stuff on. Okay, wow. Alright, uh... I must have some cobblestone in my chest over there. Okay, let me... Hold on. Let me hop on my boat and go over and... Okay, let me go run over to my chest over here. I must have some. Ah, zombie. That means that, you know what? Forget him. I'm not even going to bother with you. Okay, here we go. Ignore him. Just jump in the boat. That's it. There we go. <laughs> That's how you do it. And, uh, get rid of this glowstone. Okay, there we go. There we go. I need some more sticks, is what I need. That's it, that's plenty. He's not accurate, is he? Okay. Ah, I'll leave the crafting table there. I will take me some cobblestone, that's it. Oh, I already had some cobblestone in there. Okay. I didn't even look. You know what, I'll put my axe away just in case. I don't need it anyway. Yeah, it's so difficult at the beginning, and then you just gotta get that pickaxe with fortune on it in fortune three, if preferable, if possible. Maybe fortune two at first, and then if you get uh, something else with fortune two, then mix them together using an angle. But uh, put them together, and then make them in fortune three, and. Uh, If you want the highest fortune as possible, then, then that's when you start, you know, once you get that diamond going. Man, it's just so hard to level up all the time. It's so annoying to level up. Uh, you know, you're constantly just busy, you're doing busy work, you're constantly feeding the f chickens, killing the chickens you know, throwing eggs down or feeding more chickens and then doing the same to the cows and the pigs and until you get good stuff to fight monsters and then you can fight monsters and level up a little bit. But if, like I said, if you're like 25 or whatever, the best way to get experience points is to feed animals and stuff, so. You know. Um, You know, it's just, what are you doing there? You stay away from me. So you're just doing there, you know, it's just a lot of busy work to get to the stuff that you want to do. Okay, okay, stop pushing. Hmm, so pushy. But man, I can't remember how many times I died. I just lose all my levels and I'll be like, oh, damn. Just when I'm like 25 or something, you know. <laughs> I'm like, oh, God, I gotta start all over again. Wait, that's disappointing as hell. That's a way to uh, make you feel like, oh, God, I just want to stop playing. 
which obviously is not what you want to do, you know. But it is a fun challenge, you know, it is challenging and it's fun. It's just that initial, that initial set of diamond, you know. Uh, where else can I cut down from? Let's go on over here. Oh yeah, oh, that's where I was cutting it from, what am I talking about? Okay. Okay. Might as well just do here, I guess. But, uh, I mean, imagine, like, see what we're doing now. I mean, maybe this isn't so bad one episode, but some shaft mining is even worse than this. I'm just going straight forward and just doing nothing. And just, I mean, I was doing it, and I was like, God damn, I'm just wasting hours. This is like my whole weekend. You feel like, oh, man, I just wasted, uh, you know, my entire Saturday or whatever. <laughs> Just to get like, you know, 36 pieces of diamond, maybe if I'm lucky. You know, I didn't even get that much. I happened to hit a spot where I got like a lot of diamond at once. And I had the fortune pickaxe by then. That's when, that's when it suddenly turned out. I got like 50 pieces of diamond in one spot, one area. But that was after like, I don't know, 16 hours of, uh, 20 hours of shaft mining. You know, I was like, damn. I just hit that one big area. and it, Before that, I mean, all that 20 hours, I got, you know, a little less. I mean, I don't have 100. I have a little less than that. I think I have a little less than a hundred pieces, and up until that point, those twenty hours, I got maybe a total of like forty pieces. That's with the fortune uh, pickaxe. That's using the fortune. That's everything up until that point, you know. So. Oh, so, uh, oh, oh, here we go. Oh, there he goes. Okay, go away. That uh, mewling uh, thing. Is it going? Did it go away? Ah, it's still hanging out there. Oh. Why do you sack you? Yeah, there is one thing, like I was saying, though, there is one thing great about that uh, the 113 is being able to put chests next to each other. You could put a single chest, you could put like a double chest and a single chest, or uh, two single chests right next to each other. And you put double chests right next to each other, like, you know, double chest here and then the double chest in the corner so you can angle them or whatever you want. You know, it's pretty awesome. That's actually pretty, that's actually really convenient to me. And I was like, man, I wish they, I mean, it's such a simple thing, and you're like, man, that's so, such a good thing, you know? And you're like, how could it be that simple, and something so simple, and it makes everything seem so, so much nicer? I can grab some of this magma stuff. Why? I don't know. I feel like it. Um, they had something, oh yeah, underwater, what it does is, if they, these things will be underwater sometimes, so, uh, just like, right there, just sitting there underwater, and they'll have, they'll suck you down into the water, there'll be these, like, little, uh, bubbles floating up from them, that are, like, moving downwards towards them. Like, you'll see bubbles up in the air as it, you know, like normally you would have heat, you would have bubbles rising. 
your bubble sucking down in that sort of a vortex, you know? And and that that vortex actually sort of sucks you downwards. It helps uh, if you're trying to uh, swim, actually. Swim downwards. But normally there's only like one piece. There'll be a might be like one piece here, then another piece here, then another piece over there. So it doesn't like suck you down. You can't pull out. You know, it's not like a, a whirlpool that you can't get out of. <clears throat> but um, but it will pull down on you. And uh, oh wow, okay. This big hole. Going, where's this hole going to? And um. Okay, nowhere. No, well, no, okay, yep. But, um, yeah, they sort of help, they'll, they'll actually help you swim a little bit. Or downwards, anyway. Where's, okay. And I think if you, uh, <clears throat> I think, well, this has been since 112. I'm pretty sure if you wear frost walker boots, like boots with frost walker on them, you can walk across the magma. No problem. But, I don't... To me, it's not worth it. Okay. What was down here? I wanted to see what was down all the way down here. Oh, I already looked here. What am I doing? I wanted to look up here. I was, no. Okay, no. Alright, I'm all good. Let me come back. That thing's gotta be gone by now. Okay. <clears throat> I just wanted to have a bridge going across here. I could dig down there, but I don't feel like it. I want to dig straight up here. Okay, good. It's gone. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, uh, yeah, let's, you know... There's a lot of little stuff that's pretty good. Um, I think after I do this, I might go back to it and start doing some more shaft mining for a bit. Well, again, I apologize. I don't want to... I mean, if somebody's interested in seeing that, I could... I'll do it. I mean, if somebody wants me to, wants to watch me, but... It's going to be super boring, you know. I guess I could just sit there and talk, but it'll be even more boring than this. I mean, it'll make this look exciting, you know. <clears throat> but, um, or if somebody just wants to see me play in vanilla, period. I could do that, but... I... Um, I did want to start up another game. I want to. I want to be careful. I need to be careful for my about my throat. But um, that's why I haven't started up another game. And, but because uh, for me, there's like The Sims, and then the, in this, and then. I, I want to put something else out, you know. Something I just want to have fun with. Or I, don't, I was wondering what I wanted to play. <coughs> I still feel a little too close to the uh, choose your own adventure thing. Like I just feel like I just did it, so I don't want to do it again. Maybe uh, very soon, maybe a couple months. <coughs> I'll do. Um, I'll do the next one within the next couple months, I think. But, um, 
I was thinking, well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe if you're listening to this, maybe you could tell me what you might want to see me do. Uh, I no, I just picked up Far Cry Four, so I thought that might be fun. But uh, I was thinking I'm recording it, but not not the whole game. Like maybe half of it, so you could see sort of like what the game is like and stuff. And that might be fun. I was thinking. That might be interesting to watch. I don't know if it'll be very interesting to watch the entire game. I think you might get bored before not long before that, but uh, it wouldn't be an ASMR version. But I, I mean, I mean, I think I would be careful, and I, I won't be screaming or anything. It'll be a lot like this, you know, unless it turns out to be hilarious, which I'm thinking it might be. Uh, in which case, I might be making fun of it. But I'll certainly be playing it. Uh, and, um. So I thought, I don't, know if, uh, I don't know if people will want to watch the whole thing, but maybe they'll want to watch 10 or, 10 or 12 episodes or something of it. You know. Watch me running around and just. killing stuff, I guess. I guess the thing is, I, I you know, I didn't realize this. The, to me, the action games seem to be the most boring to watch. Which is weird, because they're action games, you know? <laughs> but I feel like they're the most boring to watch. Because you just, I guess you're just shooting people, and it's just sort of boring, you know? But it, it's funny, they're the most fun playing. But, uh, you know, doesn't necessarily translate into a fun video to watch, you know? But anyway, this okay. So Far Cry. All right, let me say these real quick before my time is running out. I'm going to stop soon. So in a few, in a few minutes here, and I'll just get out of here. And excuse me. And uh, but uh, I also was thinking of playing The Walking Dead. Now I have The Walking Dead Two, season two. And I never played it. And um. Also, the uh, the tail, the something tail, the uh, where where um, the same company, Telltale Games, that where it's the uh, uh, I have the full game where where you're playing like uh, fairy tale people, like the people from fairy tales, like. Stuff I can't remember the name of it. Uh, tail of something tail, uh, whatever it is. But have that, and um, now I wanted to do the Walking Dead season one because I want to play the season two. And I thought, well, if I'm gonna play, and I thought I'd record season two, and I thought, well, I'll record season two. I might, as well, I gotta record season one really. So if anybody's interested in watching me play The Walking Dead, tell me. I'll do that, and then record season two. Now, I played The Walking Dead the first season before, so which is why I want to play Walking the season two because it was pretty good, and uh, I enjoyed it. But uh, is that that? Uh, I could play. Um, What's his name? Uh, City Skylines, which I was thinking of making a city, but I tend to make a city and like I'll make it halfway, and then once I get what I want, pretty much done, I'll be like, eh, I'll stop. <laughs> but that'll be like you know, a lot of hours worth of playing. That might be might be like twenty hours, twenty episodes or something of playing, and then because that's the type of game where you don't, I mean, you don't sort of finish. You know what I mean? <laughs> you just keep building your city. And then um, there's the roller coaster game. The new, well, it's not new. It's not that new, but it's a fairly new one that I have. And I love playing it. But the problem is, is if I play it, I'm going to sink like hundreds of hours into it. And it, it's like really a commitment to play. Because if you want to make a little uh, place, man, it takes a while. Especially if you decorate it and all this type of thing, and 
it'll, you know, but I can make a little, a little park and then just throw down some stuff. I, I guess I, maybe I do 10 episodes of that or something, or maybe a little bit more than that, but a few that, so you can check out the game if you want, to see what it's like. I see me building a little amusement park, you know, uh, which would be fun. And um, I was thinking, I, I don't know, I get, well, this might be a very good ASMR game, Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I, I've sunk, I don't know, something like 500 hours into that. So it wouldn't, wouldn't bother me to play the, the, uh, the, um, like the campaign game where you, the so that's the story game. Where you have to sort of uh, build up and sort of build your space program and get it going, and you're sort of limited in what you could build at first. So you you sit there trying to you know get to get to the different planets and stuff and get the equipment. Uh, if you don't know what the game is, it's basically like it's sort of sort of. Uh, a physics game, but I don't well. It's a sciencey type of game where you're trying to use sort of real physics uh, paradigms to sort of uh, launch rockets into space, like sort of like a um, sort of like like your NASA, you know. And you're trying to start up a space program, except you're using these little people called Kerbals. Now the thing is the, the physics of it are sort of real and everything and so it's really uh, the, the rocketry part of it is sort of real and it's and it's actually very difficult. Um, uh, I mean it's not that difficult but I mean doing stuff like putting a, sta a station into orbit it's really fun to do that and then land on the moon uh, that's re like that, that that's really incredible and then what you can do is you can build a station and put it in orbit and then uh, this is what I ended up doing I put a station in orbit and then um, turning around and using that as a platform like a fueling station to put a station in uh, orbit around the moon and I started building a station on the moon uh, not, a, not a good station, it was just a little crappy little thing but that was, I, I had, now they were, I was trying to get to like Mars but man that was really difficult I was having a real hard time doing that and ended up using some mods a little bit to help me out and I managed to get a station in the orbit around Mars I couldn't land on it really and, and get off it was, it was just I was like man I can't build a rocket strong enough to land and get off Mars I could get I could get to Mars and land I just couldn't get the hell back off I didn't have enough I wouldn't have enough fuel to get back off and I was having real a lot of real trouble trying to build a good enough rocket to do that so uh, I don't know maybe if you want to see me doing that that could be very ASMR because it sometimes it takes a long time to uh, you have to just like fast forward time and if you want to orbit something you just gotta like sit there and just stare at the thing <laughs> while it's orbiting until you do several orbits to get to something, you know. So you're just sort of sitting there staring at stuff. Which is, and it's sort of relaxing. Or relaxing in that way. Oh, I'm out of, uh... Okay, that's it, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of pickaxes and I'm gonna leave, so... Well, anyway, oh yeah, okay, this is, I'm in an hour, so... Uh, uh, yeah, it's time to get out of here. But, okay, that's all I'm going to get from here. No, that's one of those things again. I'll get out of here. Uh, 
All right. And we're back. Okay, so if you want us to be... Uh, I was thinking of those three games, but I... Oh, I also have... Um, the Evil Within. I wanted to play that. But I don't know if that will be... That might be really... Uh, I don't know. That's a horror game. I don't know how that will work out, really. Uh, oh, I'm taking some of this with me, so... Uh, so, um, yeah, I don't know how that will, how well that will work out. Because, um, yeah, that's, yeah. I don't know if I'll be, uh, I, I mean, I don't scream, but I might be sort of, like, really tense playing it a lot. I, I'm not one of those guys that plays hard games and screams and it's all I'm not gonna be doing those videos with guys who are all fake screaming and crap and I'm not doing that crap you know but uh, I did sort of like the way it looked it looked pretty good and it was just so damn cheap I couldn't pass it up to be honest I mean really it was just my god that was that was cheap man really cheap and uh, I think I paid three bucks for it. <laughs> I got it on at like a super sale, this massive sale. I think it was like three ninety nine. I think it was even cheaper than that. I think it might have been two fifty or something, because I got it with something else. So it was like it was just incredibly cheap, you know. And I was like, okay, you know, like I bought something else, and it was like for two fifty more, you buy this. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, I mean, you know, I was like, whatever, even if it's, it's got to be sort of, it's got to be, I mean, it's got to be worth 250 I mean, come on. It's really worth at least that much, you know. So, okay, that's, do we have everything? Yeah, okay, yep. I pretty much have it, gravel, and I'll leave it there. Yeah, I pretty much have everything, okay, so. I'm gonna hop on my boat and head back towards my base, and that's where we'll pick up. I don't, you know, you don't have to sit there and watch me row back to base. But yeah, I'm all good. Okay, everything's all good. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll leave the silk touch axe here, and yeah, I'll make another one. I'll enchant another one at some time. So, okay, so anyway, uh, my buddy says, thank you for joining me, and uh, think about it. If you feel like it, just put it in the comments, if you, if there's, or if there's something else you want me to play, as long as I have it, or as long as it's cheap, and, you know, I'll think about it anyway, you know, whether or not I have it or not, maybe I'll think about playing it, so, um, but other than, the, if not, yeah, uh, I'll probably get to play Far Cry 4. Maybe put up 10 or 12 episodes of that, just so you can check out the game itself. And uh, if not that, then I was thinking maybe a Kerbal Space Program. Or The Evil Within, I was thinking one of those three. And maybe the City Skyline, at some point I'll play City Skyline. I was thinking of doing an ASMR or Subnautica, but... That gets a little tense, especially the big monsters that, yeah, that's a little too tense for an ASMR game, but I can do a regular version of it. Um, yeah, because that's sort of freaky, but then the, then the problem is, is you're underwater so much that it gets sort of gets dark, and I don't know how it will come out in video, you know? It's really dark, but there's this base building in that. I have fun playing that. Um, so... By the way, if you do have a preference, tell me, but otherwise I think I'll play Far Cry 4. Uh, at least for a little bit. Then maybe switch back to the... Uh, one of the... A story-based game, like uh, the Sherlock Holmes or... The... Telltale game, one of those one of those games, so... Anyway, thank you for joining me. Uh, this is going on way too long, but... Uh, okay. Thank you, and um, 
Hopefully you join me again next time. So uh, goodbye for now.